This is how you can put videos or images inside the text in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so first thing first, let's get our fusion composition and just make it a bit longer. So somewhere around here, right? Let's jump right into fusion. Okay, now that we're in fusion, let's add a background like this and then just make the alpha all the way down to transparent. Next, we are gonna add our media in. Next thing we need is a text effect. So what do we connect first, the text or the media? Since we want the media to be inside of the text, we will connect the text first. So like this, then we can connect our media over. So now we have something like this, but the media is over our text. As you can see now that when we type in, I will type in New York because this is the footage from the new New York. So let's type in, there we have it. Okay, I don't want this open sans font. So we are gonna scroll all the way down and get ourselves the bold font. It's, this font is free, you can download it from Google. Okay, now we typed in New York, but nothing happened. How can we fix that? We click on this merge here and in the apply mode, we go to darken. Now, as you can see, our footage is inside of our text, but the text is too small. So let's just adjust our size. Okay, somewhere around here should be okay. So now when we play it, we actually have this effect, but we can actually make it a bit nicer. So how do we do that? Let's bring our text up to somewhere around here. Let's add a transform node. Okay, now let's say we want to zoom in into this text. So how can we do that? First, let's just change the pivot point. Now, let's say we want to zoom in here to this E in the bottom of it. So we'll leave the pivot there. Okay, let's go some 30 or 40 frames forward to somewhere around here. And then keyframe our size and then go somewhere to frame 80 and keyframe our size again. Okay, now we just increase our size. And as we increase our size, we will zoom in right into the bottom of that letter E, right where we put our pivot points. So don't worry, as you can see here, it says five is the max, but you could actually just type in the value you want. So we can put in 10, maybe even more. So somewhere around 15 should be okay. So now we have something like this and it zooms in, but it zooms in quite quickly and we don't want that. So click on our transform, go to keyframes, and click on our size, just click here, zoom to fit. Okay, now we select this last keyframe like this, and then just drag it over to somewhere around 100, I would say. So now it won't be as quick as before. Nice, that looks nice. And then we can actually adjust our line a bit. So click on this transform and size, click this button here to zoom to fit, click to select all, and then just press S to smooth it out. So let's see how it looks. Okay, it's a bit too slow at the end, but we can do actually do something like this just to just pull on this down. And now that we play it, we get something like this, which looks really nice. And I quite like it. But there is one more thing that we can do to make this even better. So after this merge, just click on it and then press shift and space and then just type in glow. So now that we have added our glow, it looks kind of wonky, but just stick with it. Okay, we don't want everything to glow. We want just to have the edges of the leather glow. How do we do that? Well, from this transform, we actually just drag and connect it to the mask of the glow. Now we have something like this, but it's glowing right inside. So we click on our glow, we go to our settings and just click apply mask inverted. And now we have this glow right around our letters and you can just adjust your blend and you can play with it however you like. But I think somewhere around here, 
should be good. Let's just play with the controls a bit. I don't want it to glow that brightly. So let's get our size down. And now we have something like this, which looks really cool in my opinion. So let's see now, how does it look finished? And we have something like this, which I think looks really cool. And, and yeah, that was a quick tutorial on how to put videos or images inside of text in DaVinci Resolve Fusion.